today I'm looking at the uh, account of the man with the withered hand. And uh, I really enjoyed studying this one. Jesus does some very interesting things and ha th says some things that have a lot of depth of meaning in this passage. And so <clears throat> I, I enjoyed researching it and finding out more about it. But uh, the man had a withered hand, some think because he used to be a mason for his job and he was injured. And then through... Um, through lack of use, his hand and forearm possibly just atrophied. So they were actually much smaller in appearance than the other. And uh, at that time, I, I made a little bit of speculation in the blog here, but at that time, the way they treated people with disabilities uh, was that there was some sin that had preceded the disability. So People would have, th this man would have been kind of on the outskirts of his society and uh, maybe in the perimeter of the temple gathering area, because not only would he have been embarrassed of his deformity, but also people would have considered him some type of sinner. They would have thought he did something to precede his injury and that that injury was punishment. So the, so there's a lot to learn from the way that Jesus redeems his um his injury also the fact that jesus sees him when he goes in is evidence i'm i'm sure that jesus saw through the pharisees plot right away because he knew that this man wouldn't have been in a super visible place for him to be able to see and so the fact that he walks in and can see him and that the Pharisees are waiting for Jesus to notice him as if that he was in a place where Jesus would obviously see him, then um, that was pretty obvious that he hadn't put himself there or really been allowed to be in that position. Uh, it was it seems like it would have been really obvious to Jesus that the Pharisees were up to something. So not only does he recognize the man and acknowledge him, but he brings him out in the open in the very middle where everyone can see him. And um, again, sort of embarrassing the whole group because here's this man's sin laid bare in his injured arm. And, um, but then Jesus heals him and, and redeems all of that. And then follows with the question to the Pharisees, what is lawful to do on the Sabbath to take a life or to kill? Well, he had just, or to save a life rather, or to kill. He had just saved this man's life. He just gave the man back his, um, ability to, earn a living for himself and for his family. Whereas the Pharisees were right in the middle of plotting to catch Jesus in something and kill him. So he asks them that question and it is, it is asking them directly about their plot and he knows that they know. And um, I don't know. I just think that interaction changes so much when you consider what, what he really was implying. So anyway, take a look at the rest of it and uh, I hope you enjoy it.